What is up guys, my name is Alfie Man, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick tutorial on how to create this wallpaper you see here. So um, this is something I did in 13 minutes and it's very very simple. So um, I just downloaded Photoshop and just started doing some trials on it and ended up making this. And now that is to say that it's not very difficult, it's very simple in fact and you just need some basic techniques which either you already know or something you probably will learn from this video hopefully and um, yeah so um, these are just a few wallpapers I created for two other friends. They all share the same technique, the same method, and um, yeah, so um, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So let's get started off by creating a new canvas. So I want you guys to uh, first set the canvas size to the resolution of your screen. So in, the, in my case, it's 1366 by 768 uh, pixels. If you remember, just don't set it to a centimeter or anything. That's going to be uh, a bit stupid, let's say. And um, I might as well name it. Um, let's call it trial. Yeah, fine, spell. Okay, fine, fine, spell. Um, right. So let's, we'll set it to trials, and um, this is a white canvas we see here. And now, before you start, I want you guys to quickly imagine what the logo should be like. So I want you guys to imagine um, this logo here, or sorry, I mean any, any logo that you like. And um, just just to tell you how I got this logo. I just took out the few letters which emphasise my name a bit more than the others. So A, T and L kind of stand out in certain aspects, a bit more than H and the U in my name. So um so yeah I want you guys to think of that and uh jot it down somewhere. Now um I, yeah I, j I jotted my logo down before I started just so that I don't make any uh I don't get confused halfway through making the logo. So um so after you thought about that um, you can pause the video and just do it and just come back or whatever. And I want I want you guys to click the selection tool, the uh, the rectangular marquee tool, and just go create a rectangular box, um, just kind of compact and kind of restricted in a way. And um, the reason why I'm doing this rather than using a brush to create that kind of logo is because this is way uh, a bit more cleaner and um, it gives you the same results, maybe a bit more quick and you don't have to fiddle around as much um, as I did before. So all we're going to be doing is just filling this section up into I guess two sections but with uh, one to two surface area ratio in a way. So I'm, I'll split it up into these two sections, this is the A, the T and the L into a different section. So, um, before, so you can, do, you can kind of split it up into any ratio you want. I've done uh, kind of uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, two kind of ratio here. And you can literally change it to whatever fits your purpose. So um, so yeah, I'm splitting it up into two and two to three, or sorry, two to one, or three, three to one, or something like that. And I'm gonna be just creating, just sectioning off uh, this part of the image. So um, after you create the selection of the line to section off your A or your first part, or you wanna call it, just click uh, delete and just clear that section off. As you can see, it blends in with the background and it's just very simple and clean. Um, now we're gonna be creating the T and the L. Now um, before we do this, I I recommend you kind of think about the stuff you do. I mean. Uh, it's going to be a bit larger the than uh, stuff I created here, and um, the reason is that I did initially start off creating a bigger T in the L, then I just cut it off and just transformed it into a smaller bit. Anyway, so I'll do the T in the L very quickly. So um, if you guys, uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be fast forwarding this part of the video to so get a perfect image, and I'll talk to you guys then. Oh yeah, and I'm um, just to let you guys know uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just doing multiple selections using the rectangular tool, and all, all you need to do that is hold shift while selecting. So uh, yeah, I'll just let you guys know, and um, this part's gonna be fast forward again to the area which you are you need. Okay, fine, I'll just like, fast forward it again. Fine. Okay, 
yeah, as you can see, I've uh, I've kind of created the T and the L, and um, I'm just gonna cut the L a bit short than what it should be. So uh, just to you know, because it looks a bit uh, yes regular compared to my other picture, I guess. So okay, what do I do here? I, I don't know what. Ah. Oh, oh. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so um, yeah, after that spasm, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start uh, redoing what I did before. So uh, we've created our A T L. We haven't quite created our A. I'm gonna be doing that just now, and I'll quick come back to you with the perfect picture which you want. Um, Okay, so I'm um, coming back to you guys. I've created the A, T, and L, and um, I'm not saying I'm particularly happy with it. Uh, so it's good. It's all right, you know. So um. So yeah, we've got our A, T, and L. We've got the final image that we need. Uh, now what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be uh, taking off the background. And to do that, just double click on background and just make it unlocked. So you just double click it and rename it to layer zero, which it defaultly does. And um, just take off the background. So we're taking off the background and uh, it's completely empty. And we just have the main logo here. Just move on the logo, place it right in the middle. And I want you guys to transform it so that it it's, doesn't stand out, it doesn't kind of take up the whole uh, picture. So well, while you're doing this, I recommend you hold shift. Cause that way it doesn't change the ratio of your width to height. So it keeps the ratio the same and just transform it a little bit and move it to the center so it's clear that it's the main uh, part of the image. So we've got the uh, the background and sorry we haven't got the background we've got the logo complete and um, I'll hop I'll hopefully uh, fast forward some of the stuff I did that. So the next thing is to create a kind of a background that we need to use. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be adopting a kind of a bluish uh, shade to the background. So I'm gonna be creating just a tiny blue uh, and I'm gonna be creating a gradient according to that. So I'm just using the touchpad to do this. So it just takes a little bit longer to kind of precisely put my movements. Um, yeah, so that's something I need and um, place the logo above the layer so it just stands out a little bit. And um, remember, if you have any holes in the logo, you might as well just use magic wand to take it out. Uh, so yeah, we've got the logo, we've got the uh, just basic background. And the next thing is we're going to be creating a little box, uh, no actually no, we don't want to do that, we're going to be uh, putting a little bit of shade, uh, a bit of glow on the logo. So to do that, go to uh, right, right click and go to blending options and then go to outer glow. Go to outer glow, uh, put it to a color you like, uh, something you want to kind of express the color, color theme, uh, the main theme of the uh, image that you want and just turn it up a little bit, uh, just don't, don't get spread up, just spread all the way down, size a little bit up. It's not that much, just a little bit up, so uh, it kind of creates its own background. And if you want to do it, you can just put a little, uh, a little of inner, inner glow in, just to uh, just put a little shade into the mixture. So just doing a little bit of that, and size it a little bit up, and get right. So we've got our basic background here, a little bit of glow, and uh, sorry, wallpaper here, a little bit of glow, and a small background. So next thing I'm going to be doing is creating a new layer. And place it above the uh, layer with the logo in it. So that's this layer here. And I want you guys to uh, download some brushes. And um, I'm going to be leaving the link to those brushes in the description. So feel free to download them. Don't have any viruses or anything. It's a really trusted site. And um, yes, yeah, so I've already downloaded the brushes. And uh, I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to use, how to load the brushes as well. So to load the brushes. Uh, go to that little setting button here and just go load brushes and just choose your brush from there wherever you placed it. So it has to be a .mdr file I believe and it's it's really cool and um, yeah that's, that's pretty much it. So um, before you do, so after that I want you guys to uh, pick out 
brush that you like and place it wherever you like to place it. So, um, so before you do that, I want you guys to select uh, using the magic wand, just select the part um, of the image that you don't want to go over and the image that the part of the image that you do want to go over, which is this part here. So it's not going to go over any of the letters, just the uh, the bluish background. So then go to back to layer two, then use the brush. Um, now, if you can use the uh, the rectangular kind of uh, brackets you see on the top right of the keyboard, hopefully. You can use it to place stuff on top. So I'm going to be changing the image to the color to a uh, lightish blue, so it stands out, and I don't have to particularly do anything for it. So if, um, yeah, if, if, no, that's, that's really bad. Okay, fine. I'll just use uh, just normal stuff I used before. So I have a load of these brushes which I got. So I told you I got from uh, the links, and I'll be using a few of them. Particularly, some a bit more than the others. So this is a particular brush I like, and it just blends in with the rest of the background. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna be using a few of these brushes, and you can use them how the how you want, and uh, just make sure you don't, I guess, in a way, overuse it because it kind of defeats the purpose of making your logo stand out a little bit more. Um, so anyways, yeah, I've got my basic brushes I use here. I'm gonna be quickly uh, fast forwarding through this part of the uh, video and I'll come back to you later. <laughs> Okay, so we're back and I've just used a few brushes really quickly and um, yeah, so this is pretty much what we get and don't worry, it's not done yet. So we're going to go into uh, the blending options off that layer filled with brushes and just put a little out outer glow of, uh, see, it's, when you're putting a really dark blue glow like we did to the other image, just using that uh, and we're pretty much done, I have to say. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is pretty much the method I used. And um, so this is pretty much all you get. Um, so I've, I've showed you the methods I've used. I've showed you, uh, there's, there's not much I told you. It's really, it's really simple. All you need is a few brushes and pretty much a logo which you have to work on. So um, as I said, this is just a method. In, in the end, if you just trial out a few of these, you do get the kind of whopper you did here. And um, I'm putting a Putting a, I'll guess a little preview of the brushes itself, and uh, yeah, if you, if you guys want to access the image, access these images, I'll put it in Dropbox and I'll share the link with you guys if you don't want them. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in a later video, and um, hope you guys found it helpful. And um, yeah, hope you guys found it helpful. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys there, and we shall talk. See you later. Uh, thank you guys for watching my video, please do leave a like if you did in fact like it and if you did in fact help out, uh, that would be really helpful and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.